We gave a lot of guys a lot of opportunities, and it'll be a great tape for us to evaluate. Um, painful to lose, especially the way we did, but um, we're anxious to make sure we keep the right 53 guys. There were some guys that uh, got a great opportunity for three straight weeks uh, to showcase where they are, what they're capable of doing, and uh, we'll do what we think is right for our team. It'll be interesting to look at the film and see which defensive backs are going to be with us this season, but certainly he stepped up and had a good day today. And we want to make sure we evaluate our team, and uh, that's what we've done. We've pretty much done the same thing for three straight years, so this is four straight years. This should be no surprise. Um, we know where Jacobs is. We know who our starting five linemen are. Who's the sixth man? Who's the seventh man? Who's the eighth man? We may not have that. We'll find out. But um, evaluation is critical. The only way you can evaluate guys is in live situations. And uh, we needed this three preseason games to see where our second-year players are, where some of our new players are, and where our rookies are. We've had a good offseason. You know, I don't know you, if you were with us in Los Angeles when we scrimmaged the Rams. Our starters had two good days down there. Um, it's going to be a unique challenge for every, every team in the league this year. There's going to be some idle time before the opener. And um, the first thing's first. You know, we got to cut the roster down to 53. First time we've seen him play. You know, it'd be hard for me to say until I really look at it. Just uh, excited to see him cover a kick, protect the punter, play linebacker. Uh, against a good football team, and they came out here alternating quarterbacks, running uh, zone reads, and, and we didn't cart up a lot of those plays. I give the 49ers credit. They, they got us on a couple of those looks. Our coaches got to see Carl Joseph for the first time. You know, we obviously have a long way to go, a lot to prove. A lot of players didn't play much at all in the preseason. But um, we practice hard. We practice smart. We've had a lot of reps. So uh, I do like the, the nucleus of our team. we got a lot of guys that like football that are talented and young. And we've got some good veteran leadership. But we have a lot to prove. Yeah, it's great. He's... Um, He's, he's, he's a guy that helps us recruit free agents. Uh, he has input in a lot of things that we do. I trust him because I know he works at it. And a lot of people uh, have an opinion, but they don't really know what the hell they're talking about because they don't spend the time. Um, he spends a lot of time, in an ordinary amount of time, preparing, studying. And um, I, I, I appreciate that, and we certainly, we certainly uh, appreciate his advice. Yes, yeah, we have other guys. Kenyon Drake will be in that mix, among others. And um, anxious to see it. Not many guys get to return a ball in this league anymore when you play Baltimore. Their punter, their kicker are tremendous. But uh, we'll have somebody back there ready to go. Uh, Richie Incognito, Derek Carr, Alec Ingold, Max Crosby. We have seven captains, one on special teams. We had a triple tie on offense, and I wasn't in the mood to tell Richie Incognito he didn't get selected. <laughs> but it's pretty cool, you know. The players will still look up to him so much, and uh, you know, Jacobs and Ingold for them to uh, take this step in their careers. You've already documented what Max and uh, Waller have been through uh, to to make this, you know, transition to success, smashing success uh, as a captain in the National Football League is quite a story. Yeah, well, and Gakwe was selected as a captain, so that that always goes over big with me. He got over 45 votes. Players look up to him; they like him. Um, you know, we'll see. Denzel Perryman has already asserted himself in the short time that he's been here. So I think some of our young players are emerging. Darren Waller was selected as a captain. Josh Jacobs was selected as a captain. So the leadership is us. Uh, Somewhat from the new guys, but it's also from some of these uh, players that have been here for a few years. Yeah, I'm not going to stand up here and make a bunch of predictions. You know, we, we think Ngakwe is a great player. That's why we went out and got him. We think Max is on the rise. We think uh, some of these other guys are, are pretty good players. But um, how do they play together? And um, most importantly, we're getting ready for Baltimore. We've got to start getting ready for an opponent. That's very unique and different, and uh, we do like our defensive line. We've made a number of changes there, and we're anxious to see them play. We were fast last year. We were faster on defense for sure this year. Uh, we think the addition of Maring, obviously the defensive lineman you're talking about, um, 
that's a lot of speed that we've added. But Waller is as fast as any tight end in the league. Ruggs is fast. If Edwards can stay fast, uh, stay healthy, he'll showcase his speed. So, yeah, we're fast. Kenyon Drake can run. What do you do with the speed? That's, that's the big question. What do you do with it? Well, Nick and Javin are hurt. So that's, you know, it's a moot point, really. They're not going to be ready to go for the opener. When they're ready, I don't know. I'll update you on a weekly basis, but um, getting Denzel Perryman was big. He's a middle linebacker that gives us some playing experience and system intelligence, and, you know, we'll see what happens with Wright. But uh, Kwiatkowski practiced today. It's good to have him back for the first time in three weeks. And we still like Corey Littleton. We've got a couple young guys that need, need time, but uh, that's where we are. If and when K.J. Wright joins this team, what's he going to add? Uh, say that again? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's news. That's news. That's good. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut off your question. I ain't know that. Oh, so, <laughs> I mean, that's, that's more experience, uh, you know, more excitement. We know what type of player he is, you know, and then, you know, what type of guys we got on this team. So that's going to be exciting. Just win. Play hard. Try not to make mistakes. But don't worry about mistakes because there's only one thing that counts. Just win.